Alright, in this video we're going to talk about a specific uh, portion of the prop governor system. We're going to talk about the flyweights. The FAA has got a great diagram uh, for the flyweights and we're going to get to that later. But for right now I want to generate our own diagram and kind of see where it takes us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by drawing a three-dimensional and we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll start out by drawing a three-dimensional set of flyweights. And so we'll go something like this, right there. And then we'll draw a weight, something like that. This looks okay, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I could wipe that out and wipe that out. Alright, perfect. That looks really good actually. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, we'll draw the second one and we'll see how that one goes. Um, something like that. I guess something like that. This one's a lot sloppier. Yeah, you can already tell. There we go. Okay, cool. That's good enough. I'm satisfied enough with that. Okay, so we've got a pair of flyweights. And the flyweights are solid pieces of metal. Um, they sit on a rotating disc. So we'll draw a rotating disc. Uh, there's a three dimensional disc. Sort of. That's the center of the disc. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and the disc rotates in, uh, let's see, disc rotates in this direction, right there. Cool, okay. Um, the weights themselves are anchored to the disc by uh, hinges. And so the hinges kind of sit on the disc, let's see, three-dimensionally again, uh, right there and it passes through the disc kinda like that right there and then the same thing here you've got the disc being anchored and the hinge passes through the disc like that um, excuse me I'm sorry the the hinge passes through the flyweight so the flyweight can pivot about the hinge now, it can pivot in one of two directions. Uh, it's heavier near the top. It's got a bunch of mass up at the top. So when centrifugal force centrifugal force uh, from the rotation of the disc really starts going, the flyweights are going to want to fall outward. Uh, in that direction right there. And the bottoms of the weights, since it's all one component in the hinges here, the bottoms of the weights are going to want to move upward, upward and outward, kind of like that. Okay, um, I should have drawn, well I guess I messed that up a little bit. Oh well, whatever. Um, and let's, yeah, let's uh, get rid of some of these guys. So, um, centrifugal force causes that to happen right there. Uh, we'll erase that for the moment, being that I should have drawn it separately so that I could get rid of it later. Okay, there we go. Uh, here we go. Okay, now, uh, we'll redraw that one. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So we've got the pivoting from centrifugal force going on. Great, we can get rid of those arrows. Uh, then what we'll do is um, we'll say you've also got um, a speeder spring. And we'll draw the speeder spring right here. And we'll see if we can draw that three-dimensionally. Because the speeder spring moves upward. That's pretty ugly. Let's try that again.
cool. Okay. And then it continues on. Uh, the speeder spring applies a force uh, in a downward direction like that, and it applies it to this ring which rests on the flyweights right there. So the spring is always pushing down on this ring uh, and applying a downward force. Well, if you're applying a downward force, uh, thanks to the speeder spring, then the weights are going to have a tendency to tilt inward. And so I'll see if we can draw that. Uh, here's the weights tilting inward. Uh, you can barely see that, actually. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, the weights themselves will tilt inward like this. Nope. There we go, something like that. Um, because of the pressure from the speeder spring right here, which is tending to tilt them inwards. So, there we go. Uh, that's the way that the flyweights move. Now, let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and we'll even get rid of that, and we'll bring this up right here. This is from the FAA, and this is FAA, uh, it's from Advisory Circular uh, 65-12A, page 350. And so if you're interested in this diagram, uh, go to Advisory Circular 6512A, page 350. You can click on that. It should take you there. And uh, you can learn all about this, and it'll probably be a lot better than my diagram. But for now, what we've got is we've got the um, flyweights. The flyweights are right here, uh, as you can see. Flyweights are right there. Uh, they're hinged. And so I'll highlight the hinge uh, in green, maybe. There's the hinge right there. Uh, the rotating disc, you can see, here's the rotating disc that the flyweights sit on. And you've got the speeder spring. The speeder spring is uh, right here. Blue is kind of hard to see. Maybe uh, black. Black is really hard to see. Uh, let's go with this again. There we go. Okay, here's the speeder spring right here, creating downward force on the flyweights themselves. And we can get rid of that. Okay, so uh, once again, centrifugal force tends to pivot the flyweights outward, and it tends to lift the bottoms of the flyweights here and here. It tends to lift them upward. And what that does is that also moves this pilot valve here. Uh, it tends to move it upwards as well. Cool, great, okay. Um, if the speeder spring, and let's draw it on there again, uh, speeder spring is right there. There we go. There's a the speeder spring right there. Uh, if it pushes downward hard enough uh, that it exceeds the centrifugal force, so that means that the centrifugal force can't really do its job anymore, um, it's going to cause the flyweights to tilt inward. So they're going to move inward like this. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause the bases of the flyweights to push downward. And again, I'm really struggling for good colors here. Uh, it's going to cause the bases of the flyweights to push downward, which is going to take the pilot valve right here, and it's going to move it downward much like that. So, we can get rid of that guy, and we can get rid of that, and we'll put the weights back up again. So, you have centrifugal force acting to move the flyweights outward. You have the uh, speeder spring acting to move the flyweights inward, and working together in conjunction, you wind up with the... Um, prop governing system, you wind up with movement of the pilot valve. So that's, uh, that's basically how the flyweights work.